Welcome to our Access Control Administration module. Centralized access control is the ability for a single entity, whether this is an individual person, a department, or a device, to control the provisioning and access management processes. Senior level management employees can decide which users are permitted to access which objects, and then the administration supports these decisions. Some examples of systems that can be used for remote users are Radius, TACAX Plus, and Diameter. TACAX Plus is considered the more secure solution. Within a domain environment, we typically use Microsoft Windows Server's Active Directory, where we can store subjects and objects and then use Kerberos to authenticate individuals before they access the system. We can also have systems that use decentralized administration, here, instead of a centralized administrator who's controlling access to resources, the control is given to the individuals who use the resource or design the resource, such as department managers or even the users. This provides greater speed and flexibility, but not as much security. Here, we're not processing access requests by a centralized entity. They're being processed by individual users or managers. So we're not going to have as much standardization we're going to have rights that overlap and we're going to have security holes. And the good old boy system is a problem here where if two people are friends, they're more likely to give each other access to resources that perhaps they should not have access to. We can also have hybrid access control administration. Here we're combining some of the aspects of centralized and decentralized administration. So we may have an entity like a network administrator that can control what users access and restrict access to certain important network resources, but then for less secure resources, individuals can decide who is permitted to access them. For example, a printer on a user's desk, they can allow their coworker in the next cubicle to print to that printer, or a few users in a certain department can design a document and share the document with each other so that they can collaborate and they do not need a network administrator to be involved in that transaction. This concludes our Access Control Administration module. Thank you for watching.